What up my dudes, it's Average Owen making average content for the average viewer. And today, I'm bringing you a video that I've been extremely excited to make. As a lot of you guys know, I've been pretty excited for Modern Warfare. On a scale of 1 to excited, I'd probably say that I'm about as excited as a working class middle aged woman at a UKIP rally. And I have to say that after all of this hype, I am not disappointed with it at all. So far that is. Well, apart from one map, but we'll get to that. So throughout my 15 or so hours playing in the beta, yes I know that's excessive, I'm certainly feeling the repercussions of waking up at 6am to play it now, but what I've noticed mainly is that the way you are made to play the game is very different from the other titles in the franchise. Now, a lot of big COD YouTubers before release were making grand comparisons to Battlefield, saying that because there is a lot more recoil on the guns and bigger maps yada 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 yada, but if I'm being completely honest with you, I think I'd like to say that these guys have obviously not played much Battlefield before. I mean, yeah, there is considerably more recoil and stuff, but the, but the gunplay feels completely different and is still very much a Call of Duty game. That being said, I will say that the game does tend to force you to play a little bit more passively than in previous titles, so I thought I'd make a little introductory guide on how I've been playing more aggressively and not having to do my best impression of a chest of drawers as I hide in the corner of a room. So, in the gameplay behind, I had one of my better games. No, I didn't get a tactical nuke, and yes, I did get killed more often than the hopes and dreams of the Battlefield 5 community, but I would like to think that these tips that I have for you should help you get off on the right foot and start slaying properly. Now the first thing I want to talk about is how you set up your class. The temptation for many of you will be to chuck on whatever attachments you think look the coolest. And whereas in previous titles this wouldn't have made much of a difference, in Modern Warfare choosing the wrong attachments can leave you shooting like the love child of Stephen Hawkins and Stevie Wonder. Anyway, for a more aggressive style of play, my personal favourite weapon that I've been using the most is the MP5. I find that this gun has the perfect balance between damage output and mobility. That is, if you have the right attachments of course. So, first up, we have the lightweight barrel. It says here the large bore barrel reduces weight for improved handling at the cost of muzzle velocity. So basically this means that you're able to aim down sight a little quicker, but your bullets travel a bit slower. In my opinion, that trade-off is perfectly fine with me, as you're going to be using this gun up close and right in people's faces, so there isn't much need for you to lead your targets anyway. Also, this is still Call of Duty, so even on the bigger maps, the distance you are shooting isn't big enough to have to worry about slow bullet velocity. Right, next we have the vertical foregrip. I personally don't find the horizontal recoil on the MP5 to be that bad, but because I'm on console, controlling the vertical recoil isn't always that easy, so the vertical foregrip negates the need to compensate for that a little bit. That being said, if you do have the skills to control the vertical recoil yourself, then the angled foregrip might be better for you, as it will reduce the horizontal recoil. Moving on, we have what I would consider the best attachment for this gun, the 10mm round conversion kit. So apparently all you need to do to change the ammunition type of a gun is just pop in a different magazine to that bad boy and start popping away. Well obviously not, but we'll let them off this time. This attachment basically increases the damage of your weapon whilst reducing its rate of fire. It doesn't sound great on paper, but honestly, take my word for it, this makes this gun a bloody beast. Right, so next we have the stippled grip. Stipple? Stip, stip, stipple? Stipled? Who knows? Who the fuck even cares? And I'm just going to go straight out and say that this attachment is an absolute crutch if you're wanting to play aggressively. Not only does it improve your ADS, but it also helps out your sprint to fire time, or sprint out time as it's more commonly known. So this will really benefit you if you aim to be running and gunning like you did in previous Call of Duties. And finally we have the lightweight stock. This stock basically works similarly to how the stock attachment used to work in the last few CODs. It allows you to move quicker whilst you're aimed down sight, making it easier to pre-aim corners and strafe during those mid to long range gunfights. Well that's about it for my weapon, but I'd like to give you guys a few more tips that might help you in your struggle to play more aggressively. But before we go on, I'd love to know what style you've been using in Modern Warfare. Do you tend to rush around like I've been doing, or are you more of a passive dare I say it, camper. I'd love to know in your comments. And also if you're new here and you like bad jokes about subjects that shouldn't really ever be joked about, whilst also getting some decent tips and some average gameplay, then hey, why not subscribe? So the first thing that I'm going to say here is that although you're going for all out aggression, 
you aren't going to be able to run around like someone who mixed caffeine powder, G Fuel and crack and put it into a Monster Energy. You've just got to accept that you have to take things a little bit easier. This doesn't mean that you just have to stay idle staring at a door on the edge of the map, but you are going to have to be a little bit more tactical. One great mechanic that I've found works wonders for this sort of thing is the mount mechanic. Now I know, I know, at first glance this just looks like it's for hunkering down in a window laying down suppressive fire similarly to how a bipod would work in BF5. But I have found that when you approach the corner of a wall whilst aiming and you click the mount button it actually slows you down so you can peek around the corner and check that it's clear rather than sidestepping out from the corner and getting domed quicker than you can say I'm going back to Battlefield 5. This also means that if someone is around the corner not only are you already aimed in, but you also have the bonus of reduced recoil, meaning that you can straight away go down on them. Wait. Oh, sorry. No. No, I meant down them. You can just down them straight away. Don't don't go down on anyone in the game. That would be awkward. Well, this leads me on nicely to my next tip, and that is to peek doors. Now, the temptation is to just go balls to the wall and charge through the door like Miley Cyrus on the Wrecking Ball, minus that shitty music that is. Instead, a better idea would be to pre-aim as you approach the door and hold the interact button. On Xbox, that's X. This will allow you to gradually open the door and see what you're running into whilst also minimising the noise that you are making and not giving your location away, allowing you to continue with your streak. Now in terms of the equipment you want to use, if you're rushing, there are many people who use either the stun or the flash, which aren't bad options as you can chuck them ahead of you and clear rooms and objectives fairly easily. But, for the last couple of hours, after I've recorded this particular gameplay, I've been using the Stim. This works the same as it did in Black Ops 4, only now you don't actually have a health bar, you just instantly regain the health if you're hurt mid gunfight. It also replenishes your ability to sprint. What this allows is for you to keep pushing the enemy even if you get hurt in the fight, or if you kill someone but they also damage you a bit too, you can just heal up straight away and get straight in after all of their little friends. So anyway, that's about it for my tips on how to get better at the Modern Warfare beta and how to play it a bit more aggressively. I'd love it if you'd let me know how you're getting on and if you'll be playing the beta this weekend. I'm going to be bringing out a few more videos on the beta and obviously I'll be covering the game post-release. But don't worry, all of you who subscribe to me for my Battlefield content, I will still be covering that game as well. There's plenty of average content to go around. Anyway, that's it from me today. I'll leave you with the rest of this gameplay. I'm Average O. Peace. Friendly UAV overhead. This is Jaguar 30. Person. Enemy holds two objectives. Take. We captured Alpha. We're taking Bravo. Allied <laughs> cruise missile away. Got a UAV on station. Hold all the objectives. This is Jaguar 30. Solid copy. Losing Charlie. Need backup at Alpha. We've lost Charlie. We've lost Alpha. We're taking Charlie. Be advised. Uh, Bingo fuel. Got a personal radar drone ready for escort. Copy. Jaguar 30 in route. We captured Alpha. Friendly position airstrike inbound. Stay with it!